Hey, it's the Midnight Raven, and today we're doing another list challenge. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I am the Midnight Raven. So we use a website called List Challenges, and today we're going to look at the most overrated movies of all time, ranked by definition.org. And what we do is we're going through these... Uh, I'm not sure how many there are, but we're going to go through these movies and we're going to decide uh, whether they're overrated, whether I've seen them. And every time I have seen a movie, it gets a tick. And at the end of this video, we're going to see the average score of people that have watched these movies. And we are going to find out just how many of these supposedly most overrated movies, both me and you, have watched. Do comment in the comments which of these you have seen which ones i haven't seen that you think i should see and let's get on with the video so we're looking at overrated movies so the first one have you seen almost famous got an 89 percent on rotten tomatoes which is a pretty high score i can say i haven't seen it the dark knight 2008 94 percent on rotten tomatoes i have seen the dark knight it's not my favourite. I'm not a big fan of um, Batman, if I'm really honest. Spider-Man 2, I have actually seen. Got a 93 on Rotten Tomatoes. Clerks, I've actually seen Clerks 1 and 2. Um, and it got an 89. I actually love Clerks, the movie. It's, it's a really good series if you haven't seen it. A little bit tongue-in-cheek humour, but, you know, we all need a good laugh now and then. Okay, Star Trek II, The Wrath of Khan. 86% on Rotten Tomatoes, not a bad score. I have actually seen most of the Star Trek series, the films. I had a partner that liked that. Next, we've got the Screen movie from 1996, which got 79% on Rotten Tomatoes, not a good score but not a bad score. Lord of the Rings, Fellowship of the Rings, who has injured the three hours of each of these movies? 91% on Rotten Tomatoes. I have actually watched Lord of the Rings, The Two Towers, which was actually better, apparently. Not so sure about that one. And here we have The Return of the King, which was average. The first one was actually the most terrible one. The second one was the second best, and apparently the last one was the second best. I'm not so sure about that, but it is nine hours of my life I shall never get back. <laughs> Next, we have the original Star Wars, or episode four, is it? If you go through the whole mumbo-jumbo of the Star Wars universe, 92% on Rotten Tomatoes. None a bad score for 1977. Jaws. I like the first one, not a fan of Jaws 2 or the predecessors after that. 98%, uh, nearly a perfect movie. I mean, how close to perfect can you get? Next, Back to the Future, the original. Marty McFly, 96% Rotten Tomatoes. Not a big fan of the Back to the Future series. I know, controversial. Okay, Gone with the Wind, I have never seen, but it did get a 90% on Rotten Tomatoes. I've never seen Casablanca. Again, let me know if you have seen any of these films and that I need to watch them. I have seen Avatar. I haven't seen the new one, um, Something to Water. Can't remember what it was called. But the original still didn't do, like, overly good. It still only got 82%, um, and I haven't seen the new one. Uh, Wizard of Oz, the original, was a really good movie back in 1939. Got a 98% on Rotten Tomatoes. Again, nearly a perfect movie. I have never seen The Godfather, although it got a 97% rating and people would swear by the fact you should watch The Godfather. E.T. Fun Harm, 99% on Rotten Tomatoes. Wonder what they lost one point on. Anyone know what the one percentage was they lost? I have seen Avengers Endgame, not going to lie. It may have got 94%, but 
Oh, I think the whole superhero thing's getting a bit dull now. Anybody else feeling that? Haven't seen Pulp Fiction, although I have been told to that John Travolta is really good in it. I got 92% Rotten Tomato. I have seen The Matrix. I haven't seen the new one. I haven't seen The Matrix 4 or whatever it was called. Um, it didn't really interest me now that um, it isn't the two brothers doing it. It just didn't interest me. I have seen Rocky. I've seen all of the Rockies. Um, and Adrian will be the quote for all of time. 91% Rotten Tomato. I have seen Titanic. Three hours again of your life. You will never get back. Once you have watched the movie, you will either side with Rose or you will side with Jack. Who had room on that door, for Christ's sake? Forrest Gump. Life is like a box of chocolates. 70%. I thought the film deserved a lot of uh, a higher rating than that. Les Miserables. It's one of the films I've always wanted to see. Haven't got round to it. I know it's been out since 2012. I know. I only got a 7% on Rotten Tomatoes. I hear it's worth a watch and it should have got better. Dances with Wolves. We're going back. Never seen it. La La Land. Just never really interested me. Star is Born. Never heard of it. Get Out was a 2017. I know it's a horror film. Probably should have seen it. I haven't, but it got 98% on Rotten Tomatoes. It should go on my list to see, correct? 12 Angry Men, never seen it. Mean Girls, I've seen half. I've seen half of Mean Girls. I just lost interest. The Breakfast Club, of course I've seen The Breakfast Club, a true 1980s child that I am. You have to see Breakfast Club at least once if you were born in the 80s. The Blair Witch Project, I've seen one and two, although I must say I do prefer the first one. The Nightmare Before Christmas, I think everyone has seen it at least once. Good movie, deserves more than 95%. Uh, My Fair Lady, um, I've seen a version of My Fair Lady, I don't know if it's this one, uh, Crash, I haven't seen 2005, anybody tell me if it's any good, Shakespeare in Love, nah, too mushy for me, I'm, I'm sure it's a really good film, but I'm not into mushy films, It's a Wonderful Life, I've never seen, I have seen Frozen, I hate to say it, I've seen it with my nieces, Drive, I've never seen Eva. Let me know if I should. I think we have one more page. Oh, we have two more films. It's a bit of a short one, this one. Uh, Top Gun, of course I have seen Top Gun. I haven't seen the new one. 59% on Rotten Tomatoes. They really didn't like the film back then. But nowadays, Top Gun is like top bill. And the last one in this ranking is Inception, which I have also not seen, although it got 87%. So this is a really, really short one. And if we go down, you then go to show my results. And this shows that I did better than 44% of users on this list. I have seen 25 out of 42 movies. So that's not bad. That's over half. You ranked 11,532 out of 20,631. And you didn't beat the average score, which is the average amount of movies that a person has seen on this list, was 27. So just above, uh, just below the average, meaning that I haven't quite seen enough on this list to be in the it crowd, if you want to put it. But I was an 80s child, and some of these were before the 80s, so you got to give me some credit. I was an 80s baby, so... As you can see, I didn't do too badly. Let me know down below what your score was. Which movies on here should I watch that I haven't? Will I ever get the nine hours back from The Lord of the Rings and the three hours from watching Titanics? Do films need to be three hours long? What would you say is the best amount of time a film lasts? For me, I would say an hour and a half two hours max just to draw the storyline out enough but not to get it to drone on me personally anything under like 90 minutes i find too short like under an hour and a half i don't find they like put enough storyline in or they try and rush the storylines but let me know what you think like and subscribe i am the midnight raven 
and I will see you very soon for another list challenge. Take care and thanks for watching. Bye, guys.